In this video, we will cover how to set up and register the SolarEdge EV Charger using the MySolarEdge app. Log in to MySolarEdge using your SolarEdge username and password. If you own a SolarEdge PV system but don't have login credentials, just ask your installer for assistance. If you don't have a SolarEdge PV system, sign up to MySolarEdge using the app. Tap on the main menu in the app's upper left corner to open the site options and select EV Charger Setup. Depending on your site configuration, you may also have this option on a welcome screen. Now you will use the app to scan your EV Charger's QR code. Tap Scan QR Code to activate your device's rear camera for scanning. You'll find the QR code on a sticker located on the charger's left panel. If prompted, Grant the app access permissions so the camera can scan the code. You can also manually enter the details required in case your device's camera cannot be used. If you have not done so already, you will need to physically install your EV charger. Watch the video to properly mount your EV charger. Connect the charging cable, and lastly, connect its power cable to the socket. Once installed, tap Continue. In this screen, you'll find this instructional setup video embedded in the app for your convenience. Some mobile devices require location services in order to connect with the charger. Please enable location services in your mobile settings and grant access permissions to use your location. To continue, tap Connect to EV Charger. Follow the on-screen instructions to turn on the charger Wi-Fi connectivity by pressing and holding the green push button on the left side of the charger for five seconds and then releasing it. Once released, make sure the charger's LEDs start blinking purple and then tap OK to close the message dialog. The app is now establishing a direct connection with the charger. Please allow up to one minute for the app to connect with the charger. If prompted, please allow MySolarEdge to join the Wi-Fi network of the charger so it may be configured. If the app fails to connect with the charger, please refer to the troubleshooting steps in the installation manual. The app is now connected with the charger. Tap Continue to configure the EV charger. If not yet connected, the app allows you to configure its communication settings. Select the connection type and follow the on-screen instructions to configure it. For Ethernet connection, you will be instructed to plug in the Ethernet cable and optionally configure a static IP address if required. The following example covers the more common Wi-Fi connectivity options. Tap Wi-Fi to configure. In this screen, select the Wi-Fi connectivity type to be used by your EV charger. If you have a SolarEdge wireless gateway, you can use it as a communication type. Other options include connecting using the WPS function in case your home network router supports it, or choosing a Wi-Fi network for the connection. This instructional video covers the more common options for choosing a Wi-Fi network. Tap the Wi-Fi network name to connect to. Type in the password for the chosen network. It is strongly advised to use a password-protected network for your EV charger communication to ensure security and privacy. Next, tap Join. This charger connects to the SolarEdge platform using the configured network. If the communication fails, please select a different network and try again. Note that you can always change your charger communication settings even after setup is done from your settings menu. Your charger is now connected to the network. Tap continue to register your charger. Registering the charger is required in order to be able to monitor and control it using MySolarEdge. Provide a name for the charger location and verify or modify its address if needed. Tap Register to register the charger. And congratulations, you have successfully installed and registered your SolarEdge EV charger. Tap Done to close the setup wizard and start monitoring and controlling the EV charger.